second video series covers our second trip from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, picking up where we left off on the first trip up to the Chesapeake Bay. This episode covers day one from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina to Holden Beach, North Carolina. Well, good morning. We're uh, underway here down the ICW. I think Steve's at the wheel out there and uh, we got a pretty late start today. Uh, I, I might have overslept a little bit. Anyway, we're uh, passing some pretty big houses, just about to get into the Myrtle Beach, uh, the town of Myrtle Beach, so you'll actually see going right through the city. What's that? What's that from? Yeah, the camera. So Mike, was it awesome to be back on the boat with a new crew? It's always awesome to be back on the boat and uh, yeah, the new crew was certainly a lot of fun. And here you are heading out from the marina, well you've already left the marina, but going through the Myrtle Beach area. It seems like a pretty neat region. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty neat stretch. It's pretty straight and uh, a lot of houses, a lot of docks, a fair bit of traffic every now and then. Um, but it's not super wide either, I guess. Well, no, it's not super wide, but certainly enough room for boats to pass comfortably. But yeah, a lot of people seem to have little to no concern for no wake zones in here, that's for sure. But uh, <laughs> So no wake zone is where the power boats are supposed to slow down, or what does that mean? Oh, and the sailboats too are supposed to slow down. You know, oh yeah, because I can see wake. that you're yeah. uh, motoring <laughs> quite fast in this time lapse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can see how fast I'm going. Anyway, um, yeah, so... It's a good, good, beautiful day outside, and uh, I, I scheduled a pretty short trip uh, for day one, just in case we got a late start. And uh, you mean because you already planned that you were going to have such a celebratory time the night before that you would sleep in? Well, I, I wouldn't quite go that far, but I had, <laughs> <laughs> I had booked in advance a, a slip at the Holden Beach City Dock, which is very impressive i don't know if you'll see it later i think you might see it later in the video but uh they basically have three slips right at their town hall uh it's an alongside dock and you just i don't know they have water and power and stuff there and showers and it's a nice facility and they just built it recently so so how far is the destination from leaving myrtle beach um i think it was about 50 miles okay uh and of course, the ICW is measured in statute miles instead of nautical miles. So, so. sorry, but how long would that take you to motor? Um, like, is it well, a few hours or like six hours, half the day kind of thing? Yeah, it was probably about seven, about seven and a half hours is, is my official oh. guess. When you said a short day, I thought you meant like four hours or something. I meant short distance wise. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I mean, if we want to obviously get to our destination before sunset. But, uh, yeah, we left with enough time for that. No problem. And it looks like it's getting to be more populated. So is this the actual Myrtle Beach area that you were talking about? It is. I mean, it, 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 the ICW sort of converges with, with Myrtle Beach. It doesn't ever get in the downtown area. But there's a long stretch that's uh, a lot of the commercial or, or shopping districts and has a lot of restaurants and things there. So, yeah, we... We actually passed by up here one of the restaurants that I went to on the last trip before we departed. So in fact, this part of the ICW is the tr this trip takes you through a lot more urban areas than the last trip did. Is that right? Yeah, I, I guess that's right. I mean, there are different definitely sections that are a little more out in the middle of nowhere from time to time. But the first trip had a lot more of of those long stretches of nothingness, I guess, uh, and wilderness. So what did you prefer, the city uh, city driving or the uh, <laughs> country driving? Well, the, the first trip had a lot more opportunity for getting out on the open ocean uh, with inlets that were closer together and allowed for um, good tide timing to get in and out of. So on this stretch, the inlets are a lot further apart uh, in, in some places, so it would have to be overnight sails or, or you know darkness sailing out on the ocean which is not ideal and of course a lot of them have huge roundabout loops like when you go down um, around uh, Cape Fear for example it's, it adds quite a lot of distance. Uh, so a lot more motoring on the ICW and a lot less sailing on this trip. Yeah well there's a lot of sailing but definitely we did more than our fair share of, of, of standard motoring along the ICW. Well it still looks interesting. 
It is, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure we're in North Carolina. There we go. Living the life. <laughs> yeah. So that's another state, and I think we've just got one more bridge to go under before our night tonight uh, in Holden Beach, which is not too far from here. And we've got a, a spot right at the town hall for their town dock. And uh, I've already called in and let them know that we're coming in, so. Should be good. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's what do they call it? Like a vending, a vending machine, right? It's, that's what they. Yeah, It's a boat vending machine over there. Pez dispenser, yeah. Which one? Oh, the yeah, yeah. impressive. Yeah. That's, like two or you have the RC. Yeah. 14 now. 14? So it looks like you did get the sails up a little bit, although it seems like they are put back now. Yeah, well, like I've said before, we try to do as much motor sailing as possible. I mean, sailing sailing is great, but the motor sailing certainly helps. Take some strain off the engine, save some fuel, and hey, it's kind of what a sailboat is for, I suppose. <laughs> Would you sail for like a couple hours, or is it more like, you know, 20 minutes is all you can get the sails up? Well, if there's enough wind at all, then yeah, you definitely keep it up for, for hours, but uh, in many of the sections that are narrow or have tall trees on the sides, the wind shifts a lot more. So in, in stretches like this, it's a lot easier to keep the sails out, but of course, when it becomes calm, then there's no point, it just ends up flapping and being a uh, visibility uh, obstruction. Well, it's good practice for you getting the sails up and also for your crew to have uh, some fun learning the ropes, so to speak. Learning the ropes is exactly the, is that the, the right expression. Yeah, that is the right expression. <laughs> Mike is very into uh, <laughs> nautical expressions and yeah. always trying to keep teach me them. So it looks like here you're arriving. Yeah, the water tower is sort of the, the sign for, for where you're trying to get. For this particular dock. And this is that three spot dock that you mentioned? Yeah, that's it. And um, it's interesting because there's a little sign, uh, one of the markers, one of the channel markers, uh, we go we, we go by there and I, I figured that on this side of the marker I could just come in the way I did and it would be fine, but it, the depth went down about two and a half feet there uh, according to my sounder. So I guess you're supposed to go around uh, and, and turn in perpendicular to the dock and then make a turn onto the dock. So for anyone who's got a deeper draft boat than this, make sure you go around that uh, that starboard side marker when you're going north. And it looks like you uh, are leaving the camera on while going up to check in. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well I, I hadn't thought of that obviously, but yeah, you just walk up uh, to that town hall and they give you your, your shower keys and all that other stuff, but yeah, I definitely just completely forgot that the camera was running. But it was all very close to, you said there's a park up there, not that that would help you guys, but yeah, it'll help yeah. us when we have the family going. Yeah, exactly. There's there's a nice park, there's a nice shelter, a picnic area, there's a laundry facility in there. And you went to a restaurant by Dinghy? Yeah, just on the exact opposite side of, of this stretch. There's a nice seafood restaurant, which is pretty cool. Well, it uh, sounds like Holden Beach is a good place to go. It's a great place to go. Great family beach, apparently. Cool.